Hello, welcome to VNews, and here are the headlines. Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng receives outgoing Lao Ambassador. Vietnam News Agency in Dong Nai Province signed agreement on information cooperation. Vietnam needs many more supporting industries. Positive signals in Thailand-Cambodia relations. Party General Secretary Mr. Nguyen Phu Chok on August 11th received Lao Ambassador Sun Tho Chak, who came to say goodbye on the occasion of completing her tenure as Ambassador to Vietnam. She expressed her thanks for support from the party, state and people of Vietnam for Laos during her tenure. The outgoing ambassador also said Laos will make efforts together with Vietnam to preserve and develop the special solidarity between the two countries. The Vietnamese party leader highlighted the Lao ambassador's contributions to enhancing the special solidarity between the two countries. He extended his congratulations to the ambassador over her election as a member of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party Central Committee. He expressed hope that the diplomat will continue her contributions to the relationship between Vietnam and Laos in her new position. The Vietnam New Agencies and the Southern Province of Đồng Nai on August 12 signed an agreement on information cooperations between the two sides. Under the agreement signed by Vietnam News Agency General Director Chen Mai Hương and Chairman of the Đồng Nai Provincial People's Committee Ding Quốc Thái, the two sides will coordinate in providing information and promoting the image of Đồng Nai, particularly its potentials to domestic and foreign investors. Mr. Hương said Vietnam News Agency will increase information on Đồng Nai's province on all of its products that are serving domestic and foreign readers and 40 foreign news agencies in the world. Being a national news agency, Vietnam News Agency will provide official information, reject fabrications and support Đồng Nai province in management and operation. Chairman of the Đồng Nai People's Committee expressed his belief that the agreement will help promote the image of Đồng Nai land and people and its potentials for development and opportunities for investment and cooperation between Đồng Nai and domestic and foreign investors. How to further develop supporting industries in Vietnam was a topic of a forum organized by the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Hanoi on August 11th. Participants at the event said sufficient supporting industries would help Vietnam reduce its trade deficit, attract more international companies and catch up with new business trends. However, the sector still faces many difficulties for further development. Businesses' low competitiveness is one of the challenges to Vietnam's supporting industry. As this type of business is new in Vietnam, it requires businesses greater efforts to take part in the global production chain. Foreign entrepreneurs said Vietnam could be a promising destination for supporting industry development amidst attractive investment conditions. Uh, I met uh, many factories uh, from overseas. Uh, they have intention to give the order to Vietnamese manufacturers, but it depends on how good quality of uh, Vietnam product can compete with others. Not only quality, it's also uh, the cost of production, also the, uh, the uh, fastness, uh, can they, uh, they deliver in time or not. And this is the, the, the question that uh, Vietnamese manufacturers have to answer. But I think uh, for the future, it will be growing. Some international supporting industry companies have had the tendency to ship their factories to other countries for lower production cost. The presence of Japanese supporting industry companies in Vietnam provides an opportunity for local businesses to boost cooperation in technology transfer and human resources training. So first of all, now the JKS expert is now uh, making his explanation. So JKS expert uh, have visit uh, Vietnamese companies to uh, encourage improvement of their uh, products or uh, parts and the components. 
also uh, Jetro. Uh, this is uh, our uh, eighth time to organize this SI exhibition. This is a very uh, special exhibition. So the uh, regular uh, also the uh, uh, individual company have to do their best to uh, improve their quality. At the Vietnam Manufacturing and Supporting Industry Forum, experts said that development could afford huge opportunities for local part producers in further participating in the global production chain. A program for enhancing regulatory quality will contribute to ensuring a transparent and accountable regulatory environment, helping the economy to increase its competitiveness and attract more investment. Developed by the Central Institute for Economic Management of Vietnam and the U.S. Agency for International Development, the program will help decision makers eliminate regulations that impose unnecessary costs on the community, impede innovation and stifle competitiveness. The Provincial Competitiveness Index, released by the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry in 2010, indicated lower transparency and higher unofficial expenditure in Vietnam's localities nationwide. According to the government office, around 1.45 billion U.S. dollars can be saved every year if unnecessary regulations and procedures are simplified and eliminated. Participants at the ceremony to launch the program said it's time to speed up administrative reform, considering it a regular task of ministries, agencies and localities. Through its portal, the program will facilitate public comments on proposed legal documents. These efforts are expected to help increase transparency, ease burdens on businesses and citizens, and maximize resources to support economic growth and job creation. The Khang Thong Group has signed with its Thai partners a technical design contract for an oil refinery in the central province of Bình Định. The Thai firms are the STFE Group and the PTT Energy Solutions Company Limited. The oil refinery is expected to have a capacity of 6 million tons a year in the first phase, which will be increased to 12 million tons in the future. Khang Thom Group has also signed with a Russian group of feasibility study contract for a 700 megawatt thermal power plant. The power plant has an investment of 972 million US dollars. It is scheduled to be put into motion in 2015. The US Consumer Product Safety Commission on August 11th introduced Vietnamese exporters to its new regulations on product safety to help them avoid violations when exporting to the market. The US is now Vietnam's largest export market, accounting for more than 20% of the country's total export value. Vietnam export to the US make up nearly 2% of the total goods examined by the US agency. New requirements are mainly imposed on consumer products, including apparel, shoes, personal care products, and toys. They included new acceptable levels of several substances. Under the new regulations, all products exported to the U.S. must have third-party certification at a commission accepted laboratories to ensure that they meet requirements for product safety. A Cambodian spokesperson has said that Thai newly elected Prime Minister Ding Lak Sinawata will soon pay an official visit to Cambodia. During the visit, the Thai Prime Minister plans to hold talks with her counterpart Hun Sen to discuss measures to increase bilateral cooperation and the situation of the current border dispute. Meanwhile, the Thai Defense He's Minister Yudhasak Sasi Prapa said on August 11 that Thailand has agreed to hold a meeting of the General Border Committee at the request of Cambodia later this month. The Thai newspaper The Nation reported that Cambodian Defense Minister T. Bang has invited his Thai counterpart Yudhasak Sasi Prapa to pay an official visit to Cambodia. He later called Yudhasak to request the resumption of the General Border Committee meeting to resolve border disputes. Thai Defense Minister Yu Hasak said bilateral relations are expected to be improved following the planned meeting, paving the way for newly elected Prime Minister Ying Duk Sinawatra visit to Cambodia. Meanwhile, Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen said a general border committee meeting can be held bilaterally, except the talks on the provisional demilitarized zone 
of about 17 kilometers surrounding Priyavia Temple. And that comes to the end of our program. Thanks for watching and see you next time.